indention there. All right, now you hold this up there. Twins, twins, twins. <laughs> oh, look at her, she's like, no! He's been, we said that at first. Did you think so, maybe? We did, yeah. Oh my word, no. Uh, no, that's I'm not. I'm not in twin. I'm not in the You're twin. You're not into the twins. Yeah. <laughs> You're like I didn't get. I, I know. I just don't okay. think it's twins. I'm gonna be fine, but I yeah. just don't think it's twins. Okay, so you're measuring about seventeen. All right. It may be hard to find. Here we go. Let's see what we can come up with. It wasn't hard to find. Oh, well, it was right there. <laughs> you say hello to the baby. That's one of the hard songs. Hi. Hey. It's super fast when it's a baby. Can I say hi to you? Sure. Hi, little baby. <laughs> Can I say hi to baby again? Baby, are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> I have to sit here really quiet because I get scared in there. I get so scared. Oh, no, no, run away. I you know what you're having? Make it a surprise. Do you want to know? We have decided to do a surprise. Oh, yeah. good for you, good for yeah, you. That's so fun. And so you will get to announce it. We've known for everyone, <laughs> for all three of them. Baby's running a really good heartbeat. It's time a girl heartbeat. No. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, baby. Vita, you want a baby girl? Hey, don't slap the baby. You want a you want a baby sister? Yeah? Not a baby brother? I'm sorry. She's you gone. Or he's gone. You want two. Okay. You want two. Alright, now look. Every time we come, we'll get some tissue. We'll listen to the baby. Y'all can say hello to the baby. As it gets bigger, you have to be quiet because they get more and more scared. But we want them to know your voice, right? So when the baby's born, they'll be Happy Wednesday, friends. We are getting ready to go to the beach. At the moment, though, we are not moving because Casey is taking a work call. Dad's got to take a work call. So he's taking the call really quick before we get out of the driveway. <coughs> We remarkably, remarkably all got up and got ready to go pretty easy. Um, we've packed relatively light this trip because the house that we are renting, they provided a lot of little things that we didn't have to pack with us. Why? So that's nice. Um, we're gonna stop for some breakfast before we get on the road. And yeah. Did we make it? And I just... We made it! We made it out Peace. till the end. Cute! So this is the main living room area. Dining. Nice little kitchen. Right, let's go check it out. <coughs> It was nice. Can I go put my feet in there? Yeah, absolutely. Sure, how do you get in? <laughs> oh, the gate's right here. Sure, it's right here. Oh, good. Yeah, so it's we're safe. Oh, there we go. The daddy can't figure it out. Go, buddy, go! Peter, you gonna go in the pool? Let's check it out. Let's go check out the pool. That's mega cute. What do you think, buddy? That's the deep side. Well, then step right here. Goose? What do you think, Bina? Yeah, it feels nice. Oh, it's not hot. They're not cold. Does that feel good?
Good, Ollie? Yeah. I'll let you try my swordfish. Ollie's probably trying to. Okay. Day three, we got here on Wednesday. Now, Wednesday and Thursday, it was raining a lot. So, today's been our first like sunny day. So, it's gonna be a full day at the beach. We came a little bit yesterday after dinner just to kind of pop our feet in the water. And as you can see, like the flag is red today. So, we just have to exercise. But anyways, here we go. What is it? The shark teeth? Yeah. Those would be a cool find, could you imagine? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're worth a lot too.
Alright, we are at the beach. We just finished dinner over at the Grand Marlin again. We had to go back one more time to get some oysters and all that good stuff. Vida, go put your shoes up there by mommy's backpack. We seem to have caught the tide at a perfect timing and the beach is pretty quiet where we chose. So we are about to look for some seashells. Well, first they took, took our saddles. Well, that person so dumb. So we came down to the beach. We were having the best time looking for seashells. Um, Casey found a shark tooth for Viv. She was very excited about that. And unfortunately, it put a very bad taste in our mouth that. So I had set my backpack down, which is my purse, during this trip, and then the kids all took their shoes off, and they just got brand new sandals on Thursday that they've all been like super excited about because that's their beach sandals, etc. And um, we set them down like all together, and we had started to walk pretty far out, <clears throat> following the low tide, and the and. I told Viv, I was like, I'm gonna go get my backpack because like, it's got all our stuff in it. And I grabbed Viv's phone too. Well, somebody, during the time that we were looking around, decided to just swipe all of the kids' shoes. And they're completely devastated. So it's just really disappointing. And then Casey's like yelling at me. And he's like, you should have just picked up all the shoes. And I'm like, I would have never thought that somebody would just walk by and steal shoes. Um, that never occurred to me. Um, I guess I just have never thought that like people would just like come and steal shoes. And he goes, when it's not busy like this, that's the best time to steal stuff because nobody's looking. I'm like, how am I supposed to know that? Um, Everybody's kind of unsettled and uneasy right now, unfortunately. It just doesn't feel good. So I don't think that the kids have ever had an experience before where anybody has stolen from them, from us, really. So, yeah. Monday. I intended to close this vlog out yesterday. However, when we got home about nine o'clock, we decided to just grab some pizza on the way home. Um, and then when we got home, it was just like chaos <laughs> unleashed. Oh my God. So obviously like the dogs were super excited to see us and they had only spent like, I think less than an hour on their own because our dog sitter did another visit yesterday. Um, and then we got home and Penny's leg is hurt. And it's just so weird because the last time she kind of got into it with one of our other dogs and so she was hurt that time. She had a big old cut on the top of her nose. Um, and that was, where were we? I think that's when we went to Florida again, but that time to Disney. So I get back this time and she just like won't put any weight on it. It's like super swollen and she's just like very much like obviously in pain. So that kind of took up like all of my time to like really um, like close out the vlog and, and just like wrap that trip up. We had such a good time though. So it is 11.30 right now and we're getting around to brunch. We just ordered a few things for groceries so we could have like a good dinner tonight. 
Because I told Casey, I was like, I'm really in the mood for um, like some grilled food. So we're gonna do ribs tonight. Um, anyways, so it's just like trying to get the house back in order like once you settle in. So last night I made sure like I unpacked, I took a nice shower. It was so good to wash the ocean and the, the pool out of my hair. Um, and I think we all slept really well. Um, but anyways, we're keeping an eye on Penny right now just to see like what's going on with her leg. She does get up and move around a little bit, like just enough to like get up to her bed or um, drink some water, but she's not looking like super hot. Now, it being a holiday weekend, I can't get her into the vet today, so we're gonna take her in tomorrow, depending on how she's doing. Um, uh, but anyways, <clears throat> still got a little bit of this like sinus stuff like clearing out, and yeah, thanks so much for following around on our Florida vacation. We had such a good time. It was absolutely needed. And it's just funny to me how like going to see the ocean is just such a reset. It's such a cleanse. But then, you know, you jump right back into your life and you're like, chaos again. <laughs> um, but in like a very in just like a, such a manageable way. I think one of the biggest things for us was that we it feels really good I think to be able to do things like that for your family um, and like with your family I should say not just for the kids but obviously for us as well but to be able to do stuff like that and then um, come back like into our into our lives and just be like okay I feel better like uh, equipped to face any of these like stressors or like you know Casey was kind of freaking out this morning because the house was just a disaster like as it happens because um, the cats and the you know like dog like as stuff just accumulates on the floor and the dog kennels were in the house like um, obviously Penny being hurt the goats decided that they were gonna make them rip off the gate <laughs> off the deck and make themselves at home so I have to go through it and pressure wash that um, and then Pickle, since he didn't have his mud baths, shook, like, tore up so much of Casey's sod, so he wasn't happy about that. He was just, like, super strung out, and I'm like, bruh, this is gonna take us, like, an hour and a half tops to take care of. Um, so that's where we're at today, and that's where I'm gonna close out this vlog, and then we'll just start back up again <laughs> for next week's vlog. Um, I just feel refreshed and I feel good and like ready to start again. So anyways, thanks so much for being here. We'll see you next week.